Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. And there are some very cool announcements this week, including the new AWS Certified SysOps Administrator Associate Beta exam is now available. I took the exam this week and I'll be sharing my thoughts with you. Amazon RDS for MySQL and MariaDB now support replication filtering. And you can now access Cloud HSM using a VPC endpoint. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. The new AWS Certified SysOps Administrator Associate Beta exam is now available. And the exciting thing about this exam is that it features a new style of exam question called Exam Labs, which require you to complete a practical task using the AWS Management Console or command line interface. I took the exam this week, and my exam consisted of 55 multiple choice or multiple response questions, followed by three practical exam labs, which will determine 21% of my final exam score. And each exam lab consists of a number of different tasks that you will need to complete in order to configure a common scenario. And I felt like the labs were a really fair test of practical experience and very relevant to the exam domains described in the official exam guide. So this is a great new direction for AWS certification exams. And I think that this will really elevate the SysOps Administrator Associate certification. You can now access Cloud HSM service APIs from within your VPC using a VPC endpoint. And if you're not familiar with Cloud HSM, it's a dedicated hardware security module which allows you to generate your own encryption keys in the cloud. And a VPC endpoint allows you to establish a private network connection between your VPC and your Cloud HSM without sending any traffic over the internet. So traffic between your VPC and Cloud HSM will never leave the Amazon network. So this is going to be great for anyone operating in a highly secure environment where they are restricted from sending network traffic over the internet. Amazon RDS for MySQL and MariaDB now support replication filtering. And this allows you to specify which databases and tables are going to be replicated in a read replica. And this is a very cool feature because it means that you can reduce the size of read replicas by excluding unnecessary databases and tables. It's great from a security and compliance perspective because you have complete control over what gets replicated. And you can also use replication filtering to create read replicas that are tailored to specific use cases like analytics and reporting. Well, that's all for this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Take care of yourselves, and I will look forward to seeing you soon.